What kind of trainers do chickens wear? Reebok Bokak! <laughs> Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. If you're somebody that's having problems with your Fire Stick buffering or any device for that matter, then hopefully this video is going to help you. So let's not waste no time, right? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will ask is do comment down below if you've experienced buffering in the past and what you did to fix it. And anything I don't mention in this video that you think might help others, make sure to comment that as well. So the first tip, it's going to sound very obvious, is literally restarting your device. Now, by restarting, I mean actually unplug it, leave it unplugged for a minute or two, then plug it back in. And although it sounds very simple, you'd be surprised how many people this has helped over the years. Now, the next thing you want to test is what's actually buffering. Now, if you're somebody that uses unofficial streaming apps and you find that they buffer quite a lot, what you want to do is test official apps on your device to see if they buffer. This way you can find out if it's the actual device that's buffering or if it's just inside those particular streaming apps. And to test this, you can go inside any official app, so YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, anything. And all I've done there is search for 4K video, and you can see I'm not getting any buffering whatsoever. Whereas if you find that that is buffering, then you know it's the device and you can take these following steps to fix that. Now, if you're somebody that's found that the official apps don't buffer, but yet inside the streaming apps using such as free links, you're getting quite a lot of buffering. This could be due to the links that you're using. Now, first of all, you've got to consider where these links and streams are hosted and the servers they're using. And then you've also got to take into consideration the file size. Now, the best example for this is... If I was building a bridge across a river, but it were being built really, really slow, you're going to come to the end of that pretty fast. And then you're going to have to wait till a bit more of the bridge is built so you can go a bit further. Whereas if you're using links that are really good, really fast, that bridge, you're never going to come to a stop. That's a shit explanation, but hopefully it made some sense. <laughs> but once again... It might be just that your device keeps buffering and these are the different things you can do to try and fix it. So first of all, what you want to do is go to find and then search. And you're going to search for an app called background apps and process list. Now that sounds like quite a lot to type, but start typing it in. Then underneath you're going to see it says their background apps and process list. Click on that, click that and then download and install it, wait for it, then ding dangly do. Another thing that we're going to install while we're here is the speed test being Anality. And we're going to use this in a moment, but while we're inside the store, we might as well install this as well. Now, if I go into my applications and I go to the background apps and process list, what you're going to see when you open this is what's running in the background. So I've only just turned on my Fire Stick and as you can see, there's quite a lot of apps that are actually open and running in the background. So this is going to be using resources on your device and obviously it can cause buffering. And there is other apps you can use for this and there's also a lot more stuff you can do to free up those resources. And I'll put a video in the top right hand corner now and also at the end of the video. But I don't want all these apps open so you can click on it and then click on force stop then when you click back, you can see that is now closed. Do it again, force stop for that one. And this is going to start closing all the apps that are running in the background. And another thing you can bear in mind as well is if you go to settings and then you go across to applications, manage installed applications, get rid of me one moment, you're going to see the internal space. Now I've got 2.25 gigabyte free of nearly five and a half gigabyte. But if you find that you've not got much storage on your device whatsoever, then this can affect how your device streams. So now we want to look at your internet speeds. Now, a lot of the time people think 100% that my Fire Stick is buffering because of the Wi-Fi or the internet. But a lot of the time it's not down to that. 
But if we go across to applications and go to the application that we installed, which was Analyty, open this up and it's going to start doing a speed test. Now, I don't know if it's done an update, but I've never seen that ping before. But as you can see, my speeds, they're looking very good. 100 megabits per second. The upload, it's not really relevant. But then as you can see, once it's finished, it's going to show you what your internet is capable of streaming. Now, as you can see, I'm going to have no issues whatsoever. But for you, you might only have ticks underneath 1080p. So if you're trying to watch such as 4K and you've got a cross underneath that, that might be one of the reasons. Just drop down your quality. And then one other thing you can do to test your Wi-Fi strength is go to settings network, click the play pause button, and it's going to show you the signal strength and also the channel quality. Now, as you can see, mine's very good. And also, it'd be okay if it said good. But if it says poor or not very good, then you might want to consider some kind of Wi-Fi extender. And one thing I did forget to mention is when it comes to streaming, a hell of a lot of people use a VPN. Now, the one I use mainly is called IP Vanish. And if I go home and do the speed test once again, what you're going to see is the speeds have dropped. Now, depending on which VPN you use, you might see these speeds drop a lot more. This also causing buffering. But it's just a thing to check. If you're interested at getting a VPN, I will leave a link in the description down below. It is affiliated, it does support the channel, but it doesn't cost you any more. If you use my links, I want to say thank you very much. Now, the last thing really is what device you are using. Now, if I was using a first generation Fire Stick, I'd expect to get buffering quite a lot. And also, even when I'm using the device in general, just navigating, I'd find that slow as well. Whereas at the moment, I'm using the 4K Fire Stick Max and I'm having no issues whatsoever. So another thing to bear in mind is, is your device outdated and it's time to upgrade? But yeah, just wanted to do an updated video for this year about it because I still get a lot of comments about your fire stick buffering and what i will say is in a moment i'm going to put a video at the side that i think you're going to find very useful where it's going to show you how to optimize your fire stick but do let me know in the comment section down below if this has helped you and also let me know anything i don't mention right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below i'm watching there what was that <laughs> i'll see you soon Ta-da! And also comment any tips that I don't mention in this video the 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 <laughs> Right so the first tip and honestly it's going to going to And anything I don't mention in this video that you think that you think that you think <laughs> you're getting quite a lot of buff buffer buffer <laughs> Right so if you're still here what I'm going to say is thank you very much for sticking around I'm going to put a video up here that I think is going to help you. And I'm also going to put a video here that YouTube recommends that you watch next. I hope you're enjoying the content. And once again, I'll see you soon. Ta-da!